Welcome back to Sekiro with me and my wife, Anni. <laughs> That's her hello. <laughs> That's adorable. Thank you. So in the last episode, it was the in-between episode. I think it was episode 20.5 where we went and defeated Lady Butterfly. Yeah, my thought process going into the fight was that it's been a while since I've done it. So I figured I, you know, I, obviously I'm more powerful, just my character stat wise, but also I'm more skilled. And also I know more about the importance of deflecting. Because I think when I first fought her, I was, I wasn't really deflecting her at all. I was just very, very, very slowly poking her vitality down, which is, it was so slow. Yeah. So with all that in mind, and certainly a generous helping of the fact that I have seven gourds to heal me with now instead of like two, two or whatever I had back when I first fought her. It, uh, I mean, it still took me, I think maybe like an hour of attempts, maybe not quite that long. Some of that was getting some XP for some skills or a skill that I got that'll cover in a second. But yeah, it took quite a few attempts still, but yeah, way better at the game, more gourds, more powerful know how to block. It was a really cool fight. Yeah. My gamer wife's really good at gaming. <laughs> so let me go over some of the things that uh, happened with that that I may or may not have shown. So the first is I got a new skill, Ichimanji Double. Um, I actually farmed the enemies around where we fought, was it Juzo the Drunkard? Yes. Yeah, around where we fought them. You know, there's like two groups of very large enemies one in that courtyard where we fought the boss and then another one just like past the pond uh i just kept grinding those two big groups of enemies and got tons of money from that and experience too so um did that until i had three skill points and purchased ichimanji double can i point out that you didn't originally start it by with the intention of grinding skill points you did it to grind another revive mm. and then you were like fuck getting some xp yeah so this is ichimanji double that's a follow-up overhead sword strike to ichimanji deals high posture damage follow-up attack is especially useful for, for preventing enemy counter attacks ashina's ichimanji is perfected with this follow-up strike so, yeah, basically after doing the Ichimanji, you just press the right button, the normal attack button, right after it, and you do another Ichimanji, basically. Um, let me show you what that looks like. So this is just normal Ichimanji. Uh, do I have it equipped? No. No. So just one overhead strike, but if I do the overhead strike and then attack again, in very quick succession, you do another big just bop on the head. Boop. And, you know, that's a really heavy attack, so... Very good for dealing posture damage. And stunning an enemy. Yeah. With all the money that I got from killing those groups of enemies again and again, I also bought... Um, I bought another Dragon's Blood Droplet. Last time I bought two and that was all they had. And then I checked them again later and they had one for sale. And I think you said it was more expensive, right? Yeah, it was. So it seems like they might have some sort of like supply demand. If you buy a thing up, they might restock it, but probably up the price. Um, so I bought another one because, I mean, even 240 is so cheap for one of these things. I think I bought a bunch of pellets. Uh, I bought the gourd seed in the previous episode, right? Yes. Yeah. And then just some coin purses and, and whatnot. We also finally have enough upgrade materials to get another prosthetic tool upgrade. I have the loaded spear thrust type or spring load axe. So let's read these. Um, unleash far-reaching thrust attacks. Lighter enemies struck by the spear may be dragged towards the wielder. Can oh, That's the same, that's the same. Store energy in the spring mechanism and use its momentum for successive and relentless thrust attacks. Okay. So it sounds like it's in the same vein as these others, like charge it up and it'll do more damage, basically? Yeah. Spring load axe. Storing and unleashing energy in the spring mechanism allows for large sweeping attacks despite its weight. Sweeping attacks, like like an area of effect kind of thing? I think right now, um, the basic attack is like overhead attack. Yeah. Although you do do a sweeping attack when you do like a follow-up attack with it. Yeah. Did I cover a follow-up attack? Or Yes. 
Did I get that in the in-between episode or before this? I think that was way before this. Okay. Um, yeah, let's look at how to use it. So just hold it to rush, ready your spear, and rush straight ahead. Okay. And for this, hold right trigger for whirling. Whirl the axe in circles to strike enemies. So that sounds like a really good whirlwind, basically. Yeah. Like a much better whirlwind that doesn't cost spirit emblems to use. Or wait, no. Sorry, it does, of course. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. God, but this sounds cool, too. Just, like, rush ahead. So careless. So cool. I'm going to go with a loaded spear thrust type. Tier 4 information now unlocked. Oh, wow. Just already on tier 4, you start needing the higher tier crafting ingredients. What? I wasn't expecting that till later. But that gives me hope that maybe the Sunken Valley isn't so ridiculously high tier. Yeah, I guess. Takes Still takes just one emblem. Very kind of them. Yeah. Hmm. It seems like it's going to be a very safe attack. Because it happens from pretty far away. You move forwards a lot. It's probably going to stun them. Okay, some people mentioned that we missed a, uh, a shopkeeper. Somewhere around where I fought the Chained Ogre. If you remember, this place over here. Chained Ogre was at the top of the stairs. and You can go down scary places down there. I think, I'm not exactly sure where they are, but I think they might be down here, and there's, it looks like there's a remnant down there that I don't think I touched. Uh, I think, when I first came to this place, I jumped along the top and went straight for this, straight for the sculpture, and then after it, I just kind of jumped around the side over there. I don't think I ever explored this area down below me. Oh, hey! いや、あの世以来ですね。あ、旦那、覚えてねえんですか？へえ、なるほど、覚えてねえと。うん。なあ、旦那、私は。あんたに会ったことがある。その頃は俗屋とゴールそれから足を洗って物売りを始めたんでさ。が、銭がない。銭がないから品もない。そこで旦那、足にチートばかし銭を用立てていただけませんか。それを元手に旦那にもきっと役
旦那お代さえいただけりゃ他にも知りたいことをお教えできるかもしれやせんぜひ情報を買ってください Heck yeah only 59 sen though so <laughs> we'll see 100 sen What happens no, if I say yes? Ah, Danna. Ita da ita zeni o mo Danna. Tanoshimi ni shite ite kudase. Let's take another coin pouch. Odai sai ita da zehi. Jouho kao. Okai yage. Arigatou gozaiyasu. なんたって旦那は忍びでさ忍びの道具の情報を教えて差し上げやしょう頼むあっしすげえ勢いで火が出る筒を見かけたことがありやす平田屋敷の押し入りの時あっしの仲間がぶんどったもんですボウボウてな調子ですげえ勢いで火を吹いてやしたよ We already have a flame barrel. Yeah. I guess that's maybe just in case you missed it. Yeah. Plus, you are right before the ogre who was described as red eyed, and the flame barrel is like the, the ogre fears the mm. fire. Yeah, and this is like just right after where we got the, the thing that took us to the Harada estate, so it's very possible you get to this point. Well, actually, wait. With it. Would this person still be here talking to me if I hadn't gone to Harada State and met them? Could I have met them here first and then. Huh. <laughs> Can I get a refund? Ah, oh, well, thanks. Okay, so it looks like that's it for now. I wonder if they're going to show up back at the dilapidated temple? Oh. I hope so. Rip. Oh, the horse is like all dried up. Nasty. Yeah. I think that's all that I missed. Yeah. Okay, so we received the information about the pagoda that there's something hidden there. It is said that a precious treasure was once held within the Harada Estate Pagoda. A threefold tower stood upon a precipice along a slope lined with bamboo groves. Seems the treasure is related to shinobi techniques. The truth of it escapes me, but they call it Blessed Mist. So, I'm going to go back to the Harada Estate and just poke around and see what I can find. There isn't something behind that waterfall, is there? I don't think so. No. Wait. Oh! I don't know if this is it, but this is a thing. I don't think this is it, but I totally missed this. Uh, yeah, poking around the Harada Estate, looking for the pagoda and all that. Uh, just went down to the area where uh, it's right below the bridge. Oh, the second time in the entire game I can use this. Consecutive wall jumps. And then, I, where is this? It's probably just kind of like back up to where you were before? Or, no, wait. Have I ever been up here? No. Yeah, I'm way above the bridge. Where does this lead to? Oh, this is the three-story pagoda! <gasps> yes! 
This is it. Oh, shit. Hello. Who are you? Oh, I bet there's some real nasty girl. Oh. What the hell is that? I don't know what just happened. They I were guess. doing a sweep and then you jumped under her face. Oh, totally by accident. Oh. Duh, fuck. Whew. They broke my posture. Damn. What? It's working. <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought I just dodged out of the way, so I kept dodging, but it wasn't working. <sighs> Whew. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to try Sabi Maru, see if I can poison them. So, I'm guessing it's like scripted so that you can't sneak past him. Yeah. Oh no, that's a piercing attack. Yeah, there's no point in using that. If they block every attack, then I'm not giving them any poison at all. Yeah. You've totally forgotten to use the memory, by the way. Oh, yeah. I have a memory from Lady Butterfly to use to increase my uh, damage and all that. Jesus. Man, they are hard. Let's go ahead and use the Lady Butterfly memory. The Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the Wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in Shinobi techniques. These mentors employed strict methods. Cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved in the midst of battle. Yeah, it was pretty obvious that uh, the wolf and Lady Butterfly knew each other pretty well. So they were my mentor. Hmm. Let's try this again. With increased attack power. I don't really have a game plan for them, to be honest. They're really hard to deflect. They do lots of flurries of attack that actually break my posture. Um, hmm... Yeah, I don't think there's any hope of me breaking their posture just by pressing the attack, like being a very aggressive, because then I'm just going to end up with my posture broken. So I think I just need to get their vitality down. Anyway, let's see if I can shirk in them as they try to come down. Aw. Oh. 
Like, that almost broke my posture completely. Can you Mikiri counter their piercing kick? Probably. I tried, but was in range. Oh yeah, Ejimanji should be very good because it recovers your posture Yeah, well. I kind of forgot about it. Oh shit! I to deflect it each time. Here we go again. Try to. All I'm doing is healing and not doing anything. I'm going in a circle and healing. To learn his enemy is a very different kind of enemy. It's very convenient that they can attack me, but I can't attack them when I'm up here. I'm not grabbing that loot. Hell no. That's a reward. it again i don't like it has to be a piercing attack right what else could it be yeah i guess it only works on weapons huh here we go Backseat gaming? Uh, no. No, it's alright. Chip. Oh, wow. Tried to deflect it, but I was. I think I had my posture broken.
Maybe fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, that worked really well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's great for reducing our vitality. Yeah. I don't even need to use oil, really. I could cheese it and get them all the way down, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just get them down, like... I don't know, one more. One more bit. What were they doing? Oh, oh that's actually all I can do. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. <laughs> the wrong button. Nope. Fuck. Oh, actually, their vitality's, like, gone anyway. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Help of some flame makes that a million times easier. Jesus, yeah, they are so difficult. I can't believe they weren't a boss in any sense. Yeah, they're absolutely a mini boss. My god. Whew. Miss Raven's feathers. A bundle of Miss Raven feathers can be fitted. Oh, it's a Shinobi prosthetic. Oh. In. Usui Forest, far to the north of Ashina, live many mysterious birds of prey. The Mist Raven is the only one to have eluded capture by all who have tried. Should you somehow manage it, you'll find it gone, only feathers in your grasp. What's it going to do? Oh my god, it sounds so cool. I bet it's like flight or something. No way they give me flight, do you think? Like, floating, maybe? Maybe it's like... Like glide? Yeah. Ooh. What if I could glide from here down? Yeah. When attacked in the assumed stance, disappear like the mist and move away. Oh, that's what they meant about the shinobi mist. Not that you need that in some way to get there, but that's what you're going to find. Oh. Oh. Once you think you've caught one, all the ore made is feathers. This is the mark of a true mist raven. When attacked in this stance, instantly move in the direction chosen with left stick. Oh. It's like a super dodge? Yeah. Okay, let's use the dragon drop leg. It's like, they sold them to us. Yeah. I think you're supposed to hold down a direction and then press it, like, while you're being attacked. Like, like if I hold left right here, and then as soon as they attack me, then it kind of works. But, like, it seems kind of slow. Hmm. Isn't the point that it dodges super fast? Like, yeah. why do that when I can just go like this? 
I don't understand, because if I do this, then, like, I get hit and then I move? I, what? There must be something I'm missing about this. Yeah. Okay, after some more experimenting around with it, I think it works in a, I don't know, a kind of weird way, I guess, or at least the feedback for it is really weird. Even though it does take a second to really use it, and during that time, the enemy's attack will still continue happening, and you still get the sound like you've just been hit with something, it seems like you're actually invulnerable for the time that you're doing the the teleport kind of thing. So even though it sounds like you've been hit, you actually haven't. So like, look at my health. It's all the way full. You'll hear me get hit, but I won't actually take any damage. See? Yeah, so the feedback makes it sound like I'm taking damage, but I'm not. So it does actually work kind of the way I want it to, just it feels bad to use. Because <laughs> it sounds like I'm taking damage, but I'm not. Okay, well then that's actually going to be... Hmm. That could be really good. I mean, complete invulnerability? Could use that to avoid any sort of attack? Probably. Even like the strongest attacks? Or the perilous attacks? Most likely. Okay, well that's the Harada estate dealt with, and I think a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and we'll be back soon. Bye bye.